journey into the wilderness. Fly high and dive deep to experience the daily lives of these animals in a way you never have before. This is life in the African wild. Tucked away between two major African rivers, in the southeastern corner of Botswana, lies Mashatu. It is a new day in this untouched landscape. Mashatu is a land of legends and vanished kingdoms. Without fences or boundaries. This is the land of the giants. Even this early in the day, the sun beats down with ferocious intensity. A herd of elephants move along a rocky ridge, browsing as they go. They will eat anything from grass and leaves to fruit and bark. The herd will spend over half of each day foraging for food. An adult elephant will eat up to 440 pounds of vegetation a day. The heat intensifies as it gets closer to midday. The elephants will soon move off to find respite from the sun's rays. Stands of trees, sparsely dotted along the landscape, provide the only shelter for animals in the sweltering heat. These magnificent trees can grow to gigantic proportions, dwarfing even a mighty herd of elephants. Temba, the matriarch of this herd, is responsible for their survival. Each day, she faces the challenge of finding food and water for her family in the searing heat and dry conditions. At midday, temperatures can soar to a staggering 102 degrees Fahrenheit. For creatures as large as the African elephant, such high temperatures can be debilitating but they are capable of regulating their own body temperatures to an extent. By flapping their massive ears, they create cooling currents, and heat is released from the blood flowing through the blood vessels, lining the fine skin of their ears. But it is winter in Mashatu, 
a time of harsh contrasts. Temperatures soar during the day, but are bitterly cold at night. The land is dry and barren. To survive, Temba must push her family to their limits, traveling many miles a day to find shade, food, and water. They move steadily along the scorching savanna. Staying in one place would quickly deplete the food supply. Yet keeping close to the water would put the little ones directly in the path of predators. Temba follows ancient paths through the acacia woodlands. She's using knowledge passed down over generations of elephants to find her way to water. At this time of the year, all the elephants can do is wait out the dry season. During the heat of the day, they will stick to feeding on whatever vegetation they can find in the bush and will only forage out of the protective shade when the temperatures start dropping. But to find enough water to sustain them each day means that they can never stop moving. Two great African rivers, the Shashe and the Limpopo, border the Mashatu Reserve. Once upon a time, great herds of elephants roamed the land between their banks. But man, in his relentless and brutal pursuit for ivory, nearly wiped out these gentle giants. Only a few elephant families managed to escape, fleeing to safety. For one entire generation, Mashatu stood empty. 